Hi everyone, this is YC coming back to you and I thought with these fall temperatures that I would show you how I make my pumpkin muffins. And first I'd like to tell you thank you for your patience in waiting for me to come back and do some more videos for you. I appreciate your patience and I appreciate everyone who was trying to investigate what was going on with me. Um, I've had a lot of personal things I had to look after. I wasn't sick, thank goodness, but I'm going to try to come back to you and bring you some really nice videos. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how I do my pumpkin muffins. And this recipe that I have is out of a newspaper called the Windsor Star that I grew up with in Canada. And my parents used to get this newspaper and they had a, a cooking section. and. Uh, we tried these muffins one time and they were fantastic and it's an old-fashioned recipe so it has all the basics in it and um, I wanted to bring this to you because it's it's never disappointed me this recipe always does very well so I hope you give it a try and I will show you how I make it okay so right now we're gonna start off with um, two cups of flour Okay. I go ahead and put this in my bowl so I don't make a mess. And it is it was 58 in South Carolina today, the coolest temperature we've had all year. It has been, you know, like everywhere, very hot. So I'm just loosening up my flour right now, you know, aerating it. <laughs> so and it is so nice that you are joining me today. I'm gonna lift this out and just pour it in here. I have a backup bag for when I get through with this one. Okay, so just, it is a couple cups, yes? Yes, it's been a while since I made it, but I know it's a faithful one. Okay. And I'll get this out of my way. And the next ingredient is two teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, let's see. This one is from Walmart. There's one and two. Okay, and then a half a teaspoon of baking soda. And I just use the arm and hammer. Half a teaspoon. There we go. And then we want a half a teaspoon of salt. If you're wondering where everything's going, my baking cupboard is right in this counter. <laughs> okay. There's my half a teaspoon. If I can get it out. <laughs> Okay, and then three quarters of a teaspoon of pumpkin spice. And I'm almost out of this. This is gonna go on my list. So I'm just gonna put what I have in here and it looks like the right amount. I need to buy this again, but it's the ground allspice in a, or you can use, you know, pumpkin spice. But this is the McCormick brand, which I know you can find at, you know, Walmart and all, uh, not Aldi, but you can find it at, um, Food line and, and Walmart. Okay, and let's see. And now we're gonna do a small can, or if you have um, a real pumpkin, use a cup of it. And you can, you know, double, triple this recipe, whatever you want. Um, this makes about 14 muffins. Okay, and we're gonna open this. right now that's our I live by um, an army and air base so if you hear something it's the F-16s and loud planes okay oh I 
love the smell of pumpkin, don't you? I, I tell you what, though, I am not a fan of um, pumpkin this, that, and the other. Like, I don't like pumpkin coffees and stuff, but I like uh, pumpkin muffins and pumpkin pie. And I love to carve a jack-o'-lantern. That's my favorite. I just love this time of year, like a lot of people, because the weather's cooler. Okay. Now, uh, let's see. Um, we're going to use a half a cup of sugar, and I know it's a lot of sugar. But you know how this time of year is. Everything's festive and a little bit more fattening. So, I guess guess that means we should, it's cooler, we'll get out and walk more, right? Uh, I'm trying to see where my half cup is. Let's see. I always have a pet peeve with these kind of cups that make the indentations like the same color. Like they just dent the cup when it should be in red or purple or something. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay. And we need a third cup of milk and in my recipes I always use almond milk and it's never failed me just make sure it's unsweetened you know and it's not vanilla it has to say original and this is from Aldi okay there we go got pumpkin on it okay and uh, we need a quarter cup of uh, vegetable oil and I don't know where my quarter cup went so I'm going to use half of a half a cup if you know your fractions there we go simple as that and one egg okay let's put this out of my way before I spill it That's all there is to it. Okay, so um, I will go over the ingredients again. Uh, it's two cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, three quarters teaspoon of allspice or pumpkin spice, a cup of pumpkin, or you can use a small can of the pumpkin that you see in the stores, a half a cup of sugar, one third cup of milk, one quarter cup of vegetable oil and one large egg and around um, like that like if you're doing these muffins for like um, uh, a, one of your desserts or something at Thanksgiving um, or just around that festive time of the year you can actually add a half a teaspoon of orange peel and some raisins I know some people have even added nuts to this it's whatever you like to add to it but right now I'm just doing regular pumpkin muffins Okay, and instead of greasing, you would want to spray your um, muffin tins, but I'm not today. I'm just going to use the, the papers just to make it easy on me. And um, these bake in a preheated 425 oven, 425 degrees for 20 minutes. Okay, let's see if I can get this mixed up for you. I wrote it, I had it on the, the original Windsor Star newspaper, but you know how newspaper gets over the years, it gets, turns yellow and gets tattered? Um, so I've got it on an index card now. Thank goodness, because it's one of my favorite recipes. There's Miss Bella. I don't know if you can see her. She's gonna lay down behind me. She doesn't let me go too far. She stays right by my side. If I'm baking or sewing or whatever I'm doing, she wants to know where mommy's at. If I go take a nap, she goes right under the bed, right by me. She, she wants, she's my little guardian angel. I love Bella. Her middle name is Gertie. <laughs> oh, the smell of this pumpkin is fantastic. And you can put in favorite spices, too, that you like. Anything like this, you can spice up ground cloves. I wouldn't put too much. A little nutmeg, if you like nutmeg. You see, 
how long my hair has gotten over these a few months, like a lot of people's. <laughs> I try to, when it's hot, I'll put it up because nobody wants hair in their food, you know. But I'm just doing this real quick. If I was in a hot kitchen frying chicken and stuff, I'd have to have my hair up for sure. Let's see what it's starting to look like. And you want it like you've made muffins or cupcakes before. Cupcakes would be a little bit more runny, like, um, you know, cake batter. But this is more thick than cake batter. And you can put um, icing on these too if you want. I don't want muffins usually. But if you don't feel like making cupcakes one time and you just want to make pumpkin muffins, you can fix them up like a cupcake. You know, if you wanted to do them for hol like a Halloween party. That's the wonderful thing about this time of year. You know, you can use your imagination and there's so many different fruits and nuts and spices that you can use. It's fantastic. I love it. And I know this isn't a difficult recipe for me to bring you today. But um, this was more or less uh, to say... Thank you to everyone who gave me, all my subscribers, who gave me a lot of patience and who stuck with me through thick and thin. And I really appreciate it. I really do. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I just love all you. My community is a lot like some of the people in um, Life with Mike's community and the Pink Fairy and the Chickens by the Lake and all of them and I just love you all and you have been very faithful and, um, so, and I hope you are all staying safe and I hope your families are doing great so I'm gonna let's see I'll start off with this one because I filled all of these with the papers so I like to uh, still color like uh, Chickens by the Lake likes those coloring books. I do the same thing. Um, I did do some sewing the other day, but it was it was more or less mending. I haven't made any quilts lately, but I hope to get back to that. And then I would like to, um, you know, walk again. Uh, now that the weather's nicer and it's not over 100 degrees here in South Carolina, it would be nice to walk walk my dog yeah so I'm looking forward to that okay it says it I think I put down yeah it makes 14 it says 14 but you know that's not always exact I think you'll enjoy the taste of these You don't want to overfill them, you know. And two, you want it to stretch to where you can have several, you know. Has anyone bought any Halloween candy yet that you see sitting in the stores? My 17-year-old, uh, he wanted some. So I bought, you know, the Tootsie Roll mix with the Tootsie Pops and the dots in it? That's what he wanted, so I bought him a bag the other day. That's something that's really gone up in price is the, the Halloween candy. But, you know, it comes once a year, so that's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. Uh, not very good for the teeth, but if you, as long as you brush your teeth. My husband was like, you bought them something that rots their teeth? <laughs> I said, why don't I feel like that I'm talking to the father of Willy Wonka? <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. Put that aside and I should be preheating my oven. I forgot to turn it on to 400, 425, isn't that right? 425 degrees. <laughs> um, I also have a note here that um, you, if you like them hot with your coffee, they microwave in 10 seconds. 
I don't use the microwave, but if you do, and you like a warm muffin, 10 seconds. And if you make a double batch, and or if you make a bunch of them for a party and you have some left over, they freeze very well in freezer baggies. Uh, muffin, these muffins do great in the freezer. And you just have to take them out ahead of time before guests come or whatever. Yep. So that's fantastic. Well, I'll tell you this. I put 14 papers and I still have all this. So I am going to uh, bake these up and I will take a picture of the final product for you. And uh, like I said, this is just simple and quick. And this was more or less to say, thank you for sticking with me. And I appreciate all of you. And I hope you have a great fall weekend. And I hope you have a great day today. Please be alert and please stay safe. Bye-bye.